Okay, I'm going to show you how to create your tiny house for your project. First thing you need to do is create an account. And once you create an account, you're going to get to your dashboard. So you just go to my dashboard and it's going to look like this. Except right here it's going to be, it's going to say create a project. So you're going to name yours tiny house and then you're going to click on it. And it's going to take you to this platform. You're going to go over here to draw a room. Click on that. Come out here to your workspace and um, calculate your square footage and get it the size that you want it. Remember that tiny houses have to be under 500 square feet. So I'm going to do that. To double check your square footage, you double click inside. And that's only 217 square feet. So I can make mine a little bit bigger. And you can do that by dragging this way. And you can keep playing with it and get it the exact size that you want it. Okay, so once you have that and you want to add more rooms, you can go to draw a room, go to a corner. You can't just put it here in the middle, it's not going to work. You have to go to a corner and drag from the corner to the size room that you want. Calculate your square footage there to make sure it's a reasonable size. Okay, you can add in doors. You can add in windows. Just put those on the walls like that. And you can go to the paint icon and you can select your material. I want wooden floors and remember that each design choice has to represent what you're trying to prove so you look at your design um, toolbox to figure this out. I'm going to put white wood in there. Okay I can go back and this is the cool part you can paint your walls a different color so I want to use green and I'm going to come over here and you kind of slide it over the wall and then you pick if you want the exterior to be green you put it on that side if you want the interior to be green you put it right there and you can use different colors Okay, but the only way you're going to see this is to go to 3D. Alright, and you can see that my paint colors are showing up there. It's pretty cool. So I'm going to go back to 2D. And I can add in furniture. Okay, there's all different kinds of things you can add. You can move this stuff around. And then in 3D, you can see that it shows up there for you. You just turn that around. And the more windows you add, the more you can see it like straight through like that. Okay, so any design choice you make, you're going to need to add comments for evidence so you go to this icon here go to add comments just kind of put your mark there where you're going to add your comment add in your evidence you can change the font size to what you want it click out of there and then you can move this around you can put it on the outside or on the inside and there are so many cool features. You can just play around with this. There's some outdoor things you can add. It's all kinds of really cool stuff. See, you can add trees, water features, basically anything. Let's see how that looks in 3D. I don't know if this will show up or not. Some of the outdoor features show, oh, there they go. Yep, 
There we go, and you can see it from the window. Very cool. I hope you like it.